So question number two, uh, a teacher is analyzing the class results for three biology tests. Uh, each set of marks is normally distributed. And so uh, the question says, sketch the normal curves for tests one and two on the graph. And so I'm just going to take uh, this question over here, most of it. Is the screen frozen for you? Yes. Sorry. Okay, so here is, here's the question. Now, if we sketch the normal uh, curve, test one, um, test one is going to have a mean of 77. So let's say 77 is about here. And has a standard deviation of 3.9. So what's 77 plus 3.9? That's going to be about 80.1. And then 3.9 is going to be 84, so on. Right? So you're, you're doing this. And so those are the marks. And you simply kind of draw to the best of your ability a sort of normal curve. That's not a very good one, but get the point. Okay? Now, on a different graph, uh, oh, sketch test one and two. Okay, so now look at for number two. This is where you're going to, actually, let's do the second one. Let's do one and three, okay? So one and, let's do three. The mean is the exact same but the standard deviation is quite a bit bigger, okay? So, so this is important um, to see what's happening here. Remember, we have to have the area underneath here has to be uh, really the same. So we have to consider that to be the same area for all these graphs because we're dealing with, you know, zero to 100% here for tests. And so 77 uh, is the same mean, 77, but our standard deviation is quite a bit more. So this is what, 84.4. So uh, one over here is 84.4 okay right here and so really this is spread out quite a bit more so the normal curve would sort of look like this you see that so we have definitely definitely different looking graphs when you have a different standard deviation and so that means because this standard deviation is quite a bit higher we have the marks are more spread out you see a very small standard deviation would give you a bell curve that is really tall and skinny like that. That would be a very small standard deviation. Okay? So that's what they're asking you to do, just to kind of sketch that on the same graph, just to compare them. Does that make sense? Okay, okay that should be point, that should be point nine there. Not sure why I wrote that. Anyway, so you have a, it, this is all spread out a little bit more here. So there's more marks that are in the higher range. Test one is this one. It has a bit of a higher peak because every, all the data is squished up here a little bit more. But for this one, right, for the red one, the data is spread out quite a bit more. There's one standard deviation here. Uh, test two has a higher mean, but it would have the same shape. So test uh, two would be sort of like this. Here's 83. This is the average, you see? And it would have the same shape as the first one. It would just be shifted over a bit more. Okay. Yeah, thank you. yeah, you're welcome. So from the uh, answer key, this is what it looks like here. So there's the, there's the test one and three, right? So it's a little bit flatter and more spread out because there's uh, the standard deviation is is higher, so it's more spread out. So it would bring that down as well because all of the data has to be underneath the curve. And then for test one and two, as I just mentioned, um, the averages are different, but they are the same, the exact same shape because really the standard deviation dictates the shape of that curve, okay, in comparison. So with this high standard deviation, the, um, the other test has to be spread out because there's literally, right, all the test marks above the average has to be, you know, basically within three and a little bit standard deviations. And so if that standard deviation is, is bigger, there's more marks further away from the, the mean. And so you have to have this uh, curve that's stretched out. Okay?